So now let's talk about Trusted Advisor. So when you have an account, you want to get a high-level account assessment from AWS to analyze your account and provide recommendations. So for this, we can use the Trusted Advisor. It will analyze five categories of problems on your account. It could be around cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. Now, Trusted Advisor has two tiers. The first tier gives you the core check and recommendations for all customers that are the basic checks that will give you some information about what you can do to improve your accounts. You can also get weekly email notification from the console directly from Trusted Advisor to make sure that you're on track every single week. But then to get the full power of Trusted Advisor, you need to have a support plan of business or enterprise. We will see the support plans in details in the next lecture, but from an exam perspective, remember that with business or support plans, you will get access to the full Trusted Advisor capability or beforehand, you will only get the core checks. So with the full capability, we can set CloudWatch alarms when reaching service limits, for example. And more importantly, we can get programmatic access to Trusted Advisor using the AWS support API. So again, yet another thing to remember for the exam, if you don't use the business and enterprise support plans, then you do not have programmatic access to Trusted Advisor. Now, what are the checks done by Trusted Advisor or some important ones? Well, for cost optimization, it will show you the EC2 instances that are underutilized, the load balancers that are idle, so not doing anything, or the EBS volumes that are, again, underutilized. It will show you the reserved instances and savings plans optimization. Now, for performance, you will get some information around the EC2 instances that have a very high utilization, maybe because they are overutilized, as well as the CloudFront CDN optimizations. It will show you the performance and optimization you can get by linking EC2 to EBS, as well as alias records recommendation on your DNS. For security, you will get some information on whether or not MFA is enabled on the root account, if your IAM keys have been rotated recently, as well as the exposed IAM access keys you get, for example, if one of your employees somehow happens to lose their access keys, they're on the internet, then it will be what's called exposed, and Trusted Advisor will let you know about it because you definitely want to shut down these access keys. They will also show you security issues around S3 bucket permissions. For example, if a bucket has public access or if your security groups have unrestricted ports, especially on SSH. For fault tolerance, you will get some information around the EBS snapshots age, the balance between the different AZ, as well as whether or not your autoscaling groups, your RDS, and your ELB are both multi-AZ. Now, for service limits, you will get some information whether or not you are reaching the service limit for a specific service, and therefore increase that service limit before you actually reach it. So let's go into Trusted Advisor from the Management Console. And we can see that we have the five categories right here. And because I don't have an enterprise or a business plan, I will only have access to what's called the core checks. So for example, if we go to cost optimization, we can see that I don't have access to any of those because none of that is under the core checks. For this, I need to upgrade to a support plan that's going to be business or enterprise. If I go to performance, yet again, I need to upgrade, so not very good. For security, I get access to the core check, so it will look at the public snapshots of EBS, the public snapshots of RDS, the bucket permissions of my S3 buckets, and it will tell me what's going on, the IMUs, the MFA on root accounts, and so on. And you can get some information directly as well from the dashboard. For fault tolerance, this is something you have to get by upgrading, and service limits, you can get some information for auto-scaling groups, for launch configurations, and so on, okay? So to summarize, Trusted Advisor is a very helpful service with when you have an enterprise or a business plan because you will get access to all of those, these core checks, and alarms on top of it. If you wanted to trigger a refresh, you could click on this button right here, which will trigger a refresh of all the Trusted Advisor recommendations. And if you go to preferences, you can get, for example, a weekly email notification for your billing, your operations, and your security by setting an email address right here. So that's it. You just know Trusted Advisor at a high level, which is enough for the exam. I hope you like this, and I will see you in the next lecture.